So this will be the last video of the series. This was a very short campaign, which is exactly what I was looking for. Actually, a little quicker than I thought. So I went a little bit over the break because I did want to end the series at around turn 575. We're not going to go to turn 600 because there's really no point. We'll talk about some things and what we can do in the next series uh, for team-based TSL AI only battles. Uh, right now, the world has continued to fall into the apocalypse, um, but Sunghai was revived to see it all. So there you go. Happy birthday, Askia. I guess this would be his birthday, right? I think he was revived like two or three years ago, but uh, in, in game in game of course like maybe three turns ago but uh, america is being destroyed because germany has declared war on canada and america uh ottawa looks like it's going to fall pretty much montreal quebec city was taken over really really fast because there's all these giant death robots so that is happening um boom there goes canada america was the last person to survive on that team and uh, when it comes to the winners, I mean, obviously Germany won. We have known this for a while. Um, I I'm going to put them in the description below. Uh, I think that that's, it's a lot easier for me to update that list uh, by rather than putting an annotation because some people, you know, they remove their annotation. Some people don't have – because now it's like if, if I forgot somebody, I'll, I'll throw an annotation in the uh, slideshow after the video. Um, but I realize that that's not as much – that's not as fair because some people will turn off the annotations um, and they won't see them and stuff like that. So uh, I'll be putting them in the description uh, right there just with everyone's name and everything like that. That way it's easier for me to update. Oh, look at that. Boom. Korea. They're going to survive for maybe a little bit longer. Um that way it's easier for me to update it. Uh, when it comes to the people that chose Germany, uh, well, first of all, it was interesting because a lot of people had chosen the team, uh, but they didn't choose that everyone would survive. And that's something that I had no idea would have happened. That might be a common thing. I don't know. Uh, who knows if that's going to be a common thing in team-based uh, TSLs, but who knows? Uh, I was a little bit, um, what's the word called? I made. I was a little bit strict on on the requirements. Like you know, there's a lot of people that will, uh, you know, go back like after the campaign is pretty much over, go to video one and then announce the winner. Bam! Rome just took like three cities, um, and then choose the winner. So if if you didn't if you didn't pick the, uh, I think if you didn't pick, if you didn't uh, comment on the the first video within the first like six days, then then yeah, it's not it's not fair. And uh, so that's I mean six days is more than enough. You can kind of get an idea uh, six days into it. Uh, as well as I think some people might have gotten a little bit lucky. I, I was a little bit lenient on you know some people were like they might have said team three and then just you know the word Germany. I gave it to them because I didn't know what that meant. Um, but yeah, I tried to. I so it was it was a little bit. It's it's a little bit different because these are getting bigger and and and. Uh, more chaotic in the comment section, which is fun. It's a lot more fun because we've got people from rooting for all different teams and uh, making up all these scenarios. So we're four turns away from uh, 575. And uh, like I said, you can already view the winners in the description below. I'm going to replay this. Uh, dang. Germany moving straight in through Austrian territory. And that is it. That is the fall. Well, I mean, China is okay. China's still doing okay. They might be running for the most part. Hey, the Mayans captured another city back. St. Petersburg. Oh, I didn't realize that uh, Rome took over this city. So, yeah, I mean, things are just chaotic. Turns are being processed extremely fast, and uh, the Romans and the Austrians are being led by Germany. Not going to break down the teams because there's no point into doing that. Like uh, we talked about in the last video, that we were going to maybe experiment with uh, seeing if I can force Rome, Germany, and Austria to go to war with each other. But there's really no, no point at the moment because Rome really didn't take enough. Germany's way too powerful. Um, and, oh, bam. Okay, so now they're going to try to eat up at, at, uh, at Russia. Uh, so, yeah, we won't be doing doing that because it doesn't matter. But I'll still check if, to see if I can for the future uh, if something is, is interesting. So uh, for, the next, um, for the next one, there will be a small delay. It won't be here tomorrow. Uh, because I wasn't expecting this series to go by so fast. I'm not. I'm not ready just yet. So there will be a few episodes of the QQ EU4 play uh, playthrough because I know a lot of people wanted to see that still, and uh, we will be doing that uh, for anywhere between the next three or four days. Uh, anywhere between yeah, four being the most. I'm not saying three being the least, but yeah, maybe maybe two to four days. So it won't be that long of a wait and. Uh, and the next one is going to be big. I have been experimenting with it, but I still need a few days to, to work at it. And uh, it's going to be big. Uh, it will be Europe again. I don't want to go to a world campaign because I like to save my world campaigns as well as 
Like I said, I still very much stand by. I I thought the European campaign was my favorite TSL so far. So if we include teams to that, uh, then oh that might be interesting to look at. But we'll look at that in the info addicts, the most literate civs. Um, if we include teams to a Europe campaign, then I don't know. But like I said, you know, like I said in the previous campaign, European AI only battle with mods. This the second edition that I did was I think one of my favorites. Um, that was that was definitely really one of my favorites, but I it, it comes I think it, it's definitely number one, but I don't know if it's tied for number one with another maybe AI only world. I really loved the AI only world that we did, the AI only old world that we did, where it was uh, what was it like Korea, Russia? F no, that was the last one, France. There was this one where it was divided. There was this di world divide. It was it was the France. It was the French campaign. It was the previous one. I wasn't sure if it was the old world one or if it was the one before that or the one after that. Anyways, it doesn't matter. So let me go into the options. Uh, turn this off. I'll, I'll turn on the score for a second. Um, where is the single player score list? There it is. Bam. I don't know why I have the multiplayer score, score list on. 8,000 points, almost 9,000 points from them. Uh, it is turn 576. I guess I, I'm going to go one more turn into it. Uh, we'll check the info addicts first, or maybe we'll check on religion. I know that religion isn't, uh, it wasn't a really a big deal at all in this campaign. It usually takes, usually is a bigger deal through um, TSLs, not so much here. Arabia ended up, Islam having the most, Rome just grabbed, captured two cities in the background, by the way. Um, yeah, Arabia, Islam, 23 cities, then it was the Aztec religion. Almost nobody surviving, which isn't super uncommon. Like, the strongest religions are nations that were eliminated. Uh, we're not going to check over beliefs. That doesn't really matter. Let's go and go after the info addicts. What do we see here? Wow. Bam. Yeah, these graphs are kind of interesting. Boom. So Germany absolutely dominated. No question. Uh, and if they ended up going to war, that is Rome, Austria, and Germany, Bismarck would obviously take the victory. 88, popu 88 million population, almost 100 million people under their empire. That is amazing. Crop yields. Over a thousand manufactured goods. It's pretty much just going to be Rome, Austria at the top right now. But these numbers are always interesting to look at. Germany had over a million soldiers, almost a million soldiers. Jeez, um, that's actually not that crazy. We have seen that that number in the past. Um, but yeah, social standings. Let's check on technology. China, Korea, and and Russia were still gaining in technology. Ah, man, I don't, I don't know. I don't know if, if, if you lose a team member, does that affect the amount of time it takes to, to get technologies? I thought, I thought you guys researched technologies at the same time, in teams. I mean, I don't know. Seeing that China and Korea, well, China and Korea were the only, the last two. Russia was pretty high too. I don't know, man. I, I don't know. I guess I just have to do, I have to go into a team, uh, and and do a single player, not let's play, but yeah look into it, uh, the teams and stuff like that. Treasury, you know, Wonders, 16 for Germany, uh, lots of great works, tourism, yada, yada. Okay, yada, 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 that's what I was going to say. Retire the game, and let's go ahead and check over um, the, let's see, demographics, all going to Germany, ranking, we didn't even rank, right? We got zero points. See, I don't know how they're still giving us points, 272. I don't get that. Let's go into the replay, because replay is the most fun all the time. Although the graphs is kind of cool, but we already have a lot of graphs. All right, so map, here we go. Uh, this was cool because Germany came out of nowhere. And obviously, I think that's clear when you check the winners down below in the description. Uh, not a lot of people knew that Germany was going to win um, or, or, or that, that this would have happened, I mean, with Germany being so dominant, especially because remember the huge the mistake that they made? I forgot who it was against, but let's just watch Germany here. Uh, there is this point in the campaign where I want to stop everything and look at it. Uh, I think it was right after the collapse of Rome. I think everyone thought, there was this point, I think in video 8 or something like that, where everyone thought, oh, Poland, the Ottomans, and Russia are going to win. And it was exclusively Germany that forced that to not happen. Uh, let's watch as the Romans get captured here. Is it is it post-fall of England? There's Arabia doing pretty well. This was a pretty crazy campaign. I, I, I really liked that. Like, looking at the map where it is now... And looking where it was like, you know, 300 turns ago, it's like, wow, who would have guessed like this much would have happened? So there goes Rome and then Germany doing pretty well themselves. Austria had a much, they had ended up having a much bigger impact than I thought. Look at the England, look at the, I'm sorry, the Mongolians and the Assyrians not doing anything. I thought the Assyrians, the Mongolians and the Zulu were going to carry their team, but honestly, they didn't. 
They didn't at all. Uh, yeah, so I think London falls first to the Ottomans, then boom. So here's the fall of Rome. So the Moroccans take a bunch, you know, Poland took one. But uh, yeah, so this is the point where it's like, who would have guessed that at turn 250, someone like Bismarck was just going to put the team on his back and go crazy. Uh, because right now we've got the Russians huge, the Ottomans pretty big, Poland is doing okay. Um, and then that's it. The Northeast never consolidated. Never consolidated. And the Mayans could never take over the Russians and vice versa. So let's see. I know the Germans go after the Aztecs first. This was the problem. The Aztecs took over Mongolia, lost most of their military, so it was really easy for Bismarck to just go nuts in that territory. Um, there goes the Ottomans really blobbing out. And then I think at this point, this was when like Germany made that big mistake somewhere around there. Everyone was like, oh, what the heck, Germany? And then bam, they helped them with the defeat of, of Morocco. And this is where things just started to snowball right here because they had made Rome big enough to be kind of a meat shield against Russia, Poland, and the Ottomans uh, where the Germans could kind of do whatever they wanted. And then bam, it's over from here. The Zulu should have really had a chance. And the problem is that the Inca, the Chinese, the Zulu, and the Austrians, all at separate teams. They didn't have any backup. That, that area really, like I said, it needed to kind of consolidate um, where the Incas and the Russians didn't consolidate either in the north, uh, the northwest. The Germans obviously did good, but the northwest needed to get bigger. Definitely someone from the east should have ri risen up. And I thought it was going to be the Inca very early on. Remember how powerful the natives were in the very beginning? I mean, it was incredible to see the natives that, that strong. So that was pretty interesting. Anyways, next campaign will be a, like I said, a European campaign. Uh, it'll probably be with two uh, team members instead of three. I think three is too much, but that might be wrong. I, I know that this was meant to be an experiment, but I don't know if we have... I, I feel like we've learned a little bit of information, but I don't think I've learned enough, to be honest. We definitely haven't learned enough. There's still so many question marks on the table. So I don't know how this TSL is going to go. Um, we'll see. I'm excited for it, definitely, but at the same time, a little bit nervous because I don't know how it's going to go, and I don't want something like this to happen again uh, where Germany goes crazy. But you never know. Um... You never really know. So like I said, uh, the winners will be down below in the description. And uh, I will see you guys in, like I said, two or four days. Because uh, there's Crack Day coming up, so I don't put anything out on Crack Day. Um, although that could change. And uh, yeah, about two or four days. So expect a few series, a few videos of the EU4 QQ series. And, uh, and I'll be back very soon with TSL Team-Based Europe.